Hi, I'm Rihanna and I just watched Delphine No Dogs, a short and emotive animation about a mother trying to make a better life for herself and a child in the UK. I was so touched by this film and I learned a lot because it's based on a real interview that recounts a time when two marginalised women supported each other for a really prejudiced period in time. The story is made even more appealing through the creative visuals, subtle colours and lights which create a really warm atmosphere for the audience. Along with the authentic foley which adds a depth of realism to the film, we're placed right back in time with the characters, allowing us to try and feel the anger and the upset that they felt. This is such a tender watch that I think everyone can appreciate, and it's only four minutes long, so go and give it a go. What's going on guys, it's Joe. I watched uh, The Song of a Lost Boy from the Manchester Animation Festival 2020, and oh, the praise I have for this film visually is insane. The story follows a young boy who runs away from his choir after losing his ability to sing into the desert to try find himself, like we all would. Um, but oh, the lighting in this film is perfect. I have not seen a film in my life with better lighting. Uh, and the fact it's stop motion bewilders me. On top of that, the stop motion itself is really intricate and detailed. The environment design is gorgeous and the style is quirky and fun, a bit like the Jack Stabber animations. I highly recommend it. It's clearly made with a lot of passion. Hi, I'm Noah and I've just seen the short film Yes People, screening as part of the Manchester Animation Festival. It's about a group of neighbours living together in an apartment block, whether a broken married couple or a distanced mother and son, and really is an animated version of the rhythmic sequence from Jean-Pierre Genot's Delicatessen, where the varying activities of the neighbours build into an orchestral-like soundscape. It certainly does also share something of Delicatessen's distinctive, grimy, visual palette. I'd certainly recommend it for anyone looking for a amusing and incidental distraction. Hi, I'm Mia and I've just watched Tick at the Manchester Animation Festival. Tick is a short, witty animation about this woman who is always trying to tick off all of her to-do lists. I definitely really enjoyed this film. I thought the animation style was really just pleasing. It looked like it was all made of clay. I also really liked the fact that the film was just so relatable. The woman is trying to balance her work, her life and everything. She really just gets lost in this sea of to-do lists. And also, I finally just thought it was really short and sweet. It's only five minutes long, so I definitely recommend that you watch it if you've got chance and that you support the Manchester Animation Festival.